Welcome back, crew. It's July, and we're diving into the amazing Stars Without Number TTRPG by Kevin Crawford. It's part of the kind of Without Number series. They've got Worlds Without Number, which is more fantasy. Uh, they got a new one coming up, Cities Without Number, which I've heard is like cyberpunkish. I think it's still in Kickstarter or just left Kickstarter. So go check that out. Uh, but in the sci-fi mood, we've been doing fantasy games, superhero games lately. Uh, I've been in the mood to get back into some good sci-fi. Uh, and this is why we picked Stars Without Number for our game of the month. And I know we're a little bit late getting the first impressions video out, but that doesn't mean we're still going to be going all into this system uh, with, uh, throughout the month, really diving into what makes it tick. So just a little bit of a shout out uh, for our schedule coming up. Today, we're doing first impressions. So basically, that's just diving in and kind of seeing um, what we kind of come across as a first glance, first kind of a high level read. Uh, this weekend, so Sunday, keep your eye out. We're going to be doing a PC build uh, with our own Stars Without Number PC. Uh, Wednesday, uh, we're going to be doing our mechanics and combat build. Uh, and then these ones are going to be a little bit more up in the air, uh, but one of the ones I definitely want to do, because we always do something unique with the system, uh, we're going to be doing a galaxy or sector build, utilizing the cool rules they've got in the system, uh, so stay tuned for that. And if we have time, we're going to do factions. Uh, the faction system looks pretty sick, uh, and I definitely want to put some spotlight on that, because I think it's a really cool thing that... Uh, you can utilize in this game and other games too. So hopefully we'll get to that one too. Yeah, so we're going to be going through that. Before we get to the first impressions of the Stars Without Number system, I wanted to give a huge shout out uh, to my first two patrons. So major shout out to Heather and Chris. I uh, really appreciate you all coming through and supporting the channel uh, as part of the crew tier. Uh, and definitely for anybody who is interested in being part of the crew uh, and getting a chance to vote on our upcoming games of the month, once a quarter, uh, as well as join in a quarterly game with the patrons, uh, join us on patreon.com, Tegan J Gaming. I'll throw a link down in the description. Uh, I would truly appreciate any support you all can provide. Uh, but huge shout out to the first two. Uh, really made my day. Uh, man, let, let's, let's get into it. Let's get into stars without number. Um, with this system too, like uh, I was pretty happy. I've been in the sci-fi mood lately. Uh, I'm hoping to play some scum and villainy coming up too. But this one is just kind of a perfect blend of what I was looking for, at least at first glance, I should say. Uh, it's an old school Renaissance system with sci-fi feel, and it seems like it has like so many tools in it. Like one of the big things I'll say with the first impression. This book is thick. I got it worried at first. I'm like, I thought this was like supposed to be OSR, which is usually a little bit system light. The rules, and from what I've got, the mechanics are pretty like pretty straightforward, pretty like light. Uh, but they've got so many cool tools you can put on top of it. Uh, like we already talked about the sector building resources and planet building resources. They've got rules for starships and building starships. They've got rules for mechs. They've got rules for psionics. All this cool stuff that you can kind of modular approach it and lay it on if you want to, or not if you don't. Uh, so that's one another uh, kind of an early rose, I'll say, is how many tools they gave the GM in this book. Uh, and one of the cool things, I still need to go deeper into the mechanics, but a lot of times with the OSR stuff, you can tweak it and put it into any other game you're really running. Uh, like, if uh, shout out to anybody who saw our Session Zero for Occupation, our new Star Wars game. Uh, I almost used the faction rules from that in the Star Wars game, uh, but I decided to get a little bit more of a simpler system, but this one was really cool, and like it literally almost made the cut for that. Yeah, really, one of the first things I noticed, book size, don't let it scare you away. Uh, the mechanic sections are pretty, like, mechanics and character sections are, like, Really, probably 20 pages, I'd say. Probably less than that, but I wanted to overshoot versus undershoot. Uh, a lot of this is other cool stuff that you as the Game Master can bring into your table. So, really cool, and I'm hoping we have enough time to get all the videos in to show that stuff off. Uh, another cool thing with this, too, like I'm at, the sci-fi art is pretty sick. I love when a book has good art. Uh, I was kind of flipping through it this afternoon on my porch, and there's just a lot of cool things that really kind of tied it together. It's well-made, well-done, definitely pretty cool on that side. Uh, also with this one, too, it's kind of designed to be a little bit sandboxy, like a lot of the OSR games are. Uh, from what I've seen and kind of what the book like tells you a couple times, uh, it's a pretty lethal system. So I'm looking forward to getting some lethal sci-fi. I'm not sure what our adventure is going to be about. But the cool thing is one of the things we're definitely going to run uh, is you're going to see me make the sector 
that the players will be playing in, as well as the world they'll most likely be on uh, in the video. So that's gonna definitely going to be a video. Uh, so you can see that, and we'll kind of come together and see what uh, type of venture is going to be made based off that. Uh, with that, too, uh, so kind of we went through the dice. I was always like to give those up in the front first impressions video. Uh, so this is kind of a cool mix. Uh, so D20 system for both your attack rolls as well as your saving throws. But for skill rolls, they do 2D6 plus your attribute or plus your skill, I should say. And so I thought that was cool. I know sometimes the skills, people usually like to have those be a little less statistically varied. Uh, and that's why a lot of the D6 systems pop up. So I like how they're kind of mixing the two together. It'll be interesting to see how that plays out of the table. But I thought that was kind of a unique piece there. Uh, but with the other things too, and I love D20s, you get to roll your attack roll the D20, saving throws the D20, and those are always something that I enjoy. Uh, and don't worry, we're going to do a deeper dive in mechanics in one of our videos, probably the combat mechanics video. But I just wanted to shout that out. I was like kind of seeing what type of dive the system plays with during our first impressions. Uh, with this too, it seems like the character builds are pretty flexible. They recommend doing the old school style with rolling through your attributes, uh, but they've got like a four core, I don't want to call them class, but kind of class groupings we'll say, where you can pull different things from them, or you can kind of go and do your own thing as well, where they have different focuses, uh, where you can be like assassins, barbarians, and all that. Uh, it seems pretty cool. It seems pretty flexible, and it seems like it gives you a lot of options, uh, especially for OSR. That's going to be kind of a cool. I've never seen OSRs are usually a little bit more locked in, so it's going to be fun to see your play around with this and see what we can do with it. Along those lines, too, I think I mentioned this, but shout out, they got psionics. Uh, it's always like when the science... Uh, sci-fi has a little bit of that uh, fantasy mixed into it. That's why I'm a huge Star Wars fan, so I'm glad they've got my little Force alternative uh, with Psyotic, so I'm going to see how that plays. Uh, and just kind of a spoiler alert, our PC that we build is definitely going to have a little bit of Psyotic tinge to them. But yeah, this is just kind of a quick uh, look at some of the first impressions with it. Overall, I'm pretty psyched to dive into this one. I've been to play some more, more OSRs. Uh, keep a lockout, too. I'll probably be playing the playtesting Karen, too, sometime soon. So this is kind of a perfect fit for the game of the month. Uh, as well as uh, just looking at some of the resources here, because really one of the cool things I mentioned, and they may even mentioned in the books, too, uh, but with the OSR style, a lot of these things you can pull from this system and plop into other games that you want to run. Uh, I haven't played Worlds Without Number or the new one, Cities Without Number. I'm not sure if that's out yet. Uh, but I think uh, it's kind of cool how many cool resources they give you on top of just the base game. That's really a lot of value, I think, for your dollar. Uh, and they even have a cool bestiary, too, in there that I haven't had a chance to look through in depth yet. So just really good value, good art, nicely made book. So huge shout out for that. But yeah. Last big thing I want to shout out uh, is we are going to be doing our live actual play for the system. Just like normal, we're going to be doing that Thursday, July 27th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time right here on YouTube in the Tegan J Gaming channel. Uh, and we're going to be going through showcasing this system, uh, getting some of my cool players in. We're going to see how they fare and see if any of their players make it out of the scenario they're in. And as always, we'll be giving away a free PDF copy of the core rulebook so you can bring some Stars Without Numbers adventure to your table. But one big thing we, I want to kind of highlight, too, so usually I kind of cover the uh, the books myself, but Kevin Crawford, the author of Stars Without Number, was gracious enough to um, provide us with a free PDF uh, for the winner. So uh, one lucky viewer, we can take that away and give, give a big shout out to Kevin Crawford when you do. Uh, so. Keep an eye out. Uh, more videos coming soon. Uh, I'm looking forward to diving into this system. Like and comment on uh, something that you like with the, the Stars Without Numbers system. I always want to see what the fans like as we get into this. And one last thing I'll shout out. Um, I'm actually going to be running in the running to be an any judge for uh, the Gen Con Awards show. So if you get a chance, I'm going to throw a link down in the description and in the comments. Go through, vote for me. What the innies are, these tabletop RPG awards uh, where judges go through and kind of pick which ones for the categories would apply. Uh, and I think that'd be amazing. I love reading and learning new tabletop RPGs. I would love to put my own spin on it with the innies. So please vote for me if you can. Uh, but thank you guys for coming through. And until next time.